Hey friends, we are going to be drawing a cupcake. Thank you to Brayland for sharing a cupcake with me on your birthday. All right, so we're looking at the bottom of the cupcake. You want your angel angle to be steady, so let's decide where I can go. Here we go. We could actually see the cupcake we're drawing. I'll move it a little closer. So you could see at the bottom would be an oval. The same way you do a cupcake, you do a cylinder shape. You do an oval at the bottom, it's gonna be right there. Then you're gonna come up and flare it up like that. So from the bottom, come up, come out a little bit, however wide you want your cupcake to be, right? And then you go over the curve of the bottom. So the back of the oval, just to get you started with the shape, you're gonna color right over it. Okay, then at the top of the cupcake, you can see as it goes zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. So we're gonna do your zigzag line where you think the top is zigzag. And oh, before you zigzag, where do you put the zigzag? Well, it's an oval, just like the bottom. So whatever you do the bottom oval, let me teach you this about cylinders or cup. You very lightly and sketchy do the top. So the bottom and the top, bottom and the top are both ovals. So once you have your oval lightly laid out, then you just zigzagging right on there. You're following your curve and then come down. Now look at those little plaits going down and in. So you want it where your zigzag comes out. See, it attaches down. So if you go to those points and go down, it'll be more accurate for looking like a realistic cupcake. Now think about what flavor yours is gonna be. I like chocolate, so I was excited that Brandon shared with me chocolate. So right in here, you see the swirl? We're gonna go frown. See the swirl, how I went around? So you're gonna start over here. You have a little room for the cake. If you want to show your flavor of cake, and we're going to swirl around, around, just like you would as a cupcake artist squeezing out the frosting. Now, if you like a lot of frosting, they really blobbed it on that you want it to go over the edge. You come to the side, see how they blobbed it over around. Now, think about what color cake you want, what color frosting. And do you see how there's a little shading? There's a little darker and lighter. We're gonna have, if I could teach you to add a little shadow and shading in your frosting, it'll look a little more dimensional. Now my husband, Tiger, loves frosting so much that he would sometimes eat the frosting from the bowl and I wouldn't have enough for the cake. Uh, all right, so now there's always a light source and then a shadow. If the light was on this side, the shadow would come out that side. So let's do your shadow, which will give it more um, 3D element and you start darker to lighter with your shadow. And then your darker side will be this side. So let's go up and down. Since your lines, your pleats in the cupcake line are up and down. All right, so just follow along, draw with me, letting up on the pencil lighter to darker. Next, I'm gonna get my colors. Go with pencils. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use the brown for my favorite color, cupcake. So you're gonna think about, hmm, what's my favorite flavor cupcake? Well, now you know Mrs. Smith likes chocolate, and you can do whatever flavor is your flavor, because there's a little bit of the cake showing, and that's kind of the fun, is to show your favorite flavor cake. Do you like confetti flavor cake? Are you gonna make your cake pink? See how the brown down there shows what flavor it is? So that way, if you're at the store, you'll be like, oh, right away, that's chocolate. Now you know Mrs. Smith likes chocolate. You're gonna make your strawberry pink, carrot cake orange. Think about that and do a layer of the color of the inside of the cake. Next, to do the top, hmm, we learned Roy G. Big, Brav Orange Yellow, oh, make sure they're right in order. Green, blue, indigo, and violet are the colors of the rainbow. And decide if your cake is on something. It shouldn't just be floating. I try to do a table, I'm gonna do like a purple tablecloth five times, and on this one, I'm gonna show you what I did here. I did some Van Gogh swirls in the background to show wallpaper. And when Van Gogh did the sunflowers, he has some designs like that on the wallpaper behind him. All right, back to the cupcake. Decide where your swirls of color are gonna go. I'm gonna do purple here. And I really like that Brayland for her birthday picked the colors of the rainbow, so pretty. So when she offered me this cupcake, I said, ooh. I can share it with you guys by drawing it in art class, and then you could each have your own cupcake. And we'll always remember Braylon shared cupcakes on her birthday. And that they were rainbow color. All right, so think about your colors. You don't have to do the exact same colors Braylon picked for her birthday, or her mom picked, but thank you, Braylon and your mom. Um, you can go for whatever are your favorite colors. All right, so I might not use yellow, and you know the old saying, 
us who are from New Jersey, up north, never eat yellow snow, right? Uh, so that's why I'm not doing yellow. But um, if you ever go up north where there is snow, fun fact is that you can make ices, slushies out of the clean white snow. You put them in the freezer, you put jelly on it, and you can make your own icy. All right, now I hope you see that I'm going over different layers of color. Now to end this lesson, oh, I just got icing on. So sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna actually go 3D by adding icing. Look at, um, I'm gonna add a little shading. Say over and out from this lesson with five minutes and 31 seconds. And I'm not gonna lick my pencil. I'm gonna wash it off and be responsible. All right, over and out from the cupcake.